All right, so in this video, we are going to go over the options that are available to recover and gather your actual leads. So we're in the campaigns portion, right? These are all campaigns that I've run. I just wanna be able to show you how to recoup the leads that have been here. So you'll click into the campaign. It'll then go to the ad set, click on that again. What happens is now you'll notice that the leads form area is blue. You'll see there's a little download way. So you can gather the leads manually, but just be aware if you choose to do this, that means that you have to go into your Facebook ads account and, like I mentioned, manually retrieve the information. So if you're busy or if you don't get around the computer often, I don't believe this would be the best way for you. If you are in the office frequently or you have another team member that can do this, it's an option. It's not the way that I would choose to do it because there is an automated way, which I'm going to show you when we're done. But I want you to at least be able to see how to recoup them and what we do. So essentially, it's very simple. Like I mentioned, we click through the campaign to the ad set, then go to the actual ad, or you could just actually go to the ad within the campaign itself and download the lead form. Now it's going to open it up. We'll open it. And it's very simple. It is a CSV file, as we will be able to see here momentarily, that has the information lined out how we how we essentially set up the form. Once this opens up, you'll see. The ID, obviously, is just a bunch of numbers. These are Facebook's uh, ways to track things. The created time, the time that the person submitted the form, the, the ad ID, same thing, internal tracking for Facebook, the ad name, that would be your ad name, the ad set ID information for Facebook, ad set name is yours, campaign ID is Facebook's information, your information, Facebook's information, Facebook's, uh, excuse me, your actual form name. So is organic is basically saying if you had put your ad out and, you know, maybe let's see, Kip had seen it and chose to share it with somebody, then it would register under the organic portion. But see, none of these are that way. They're all false. And so what that means is someone had actually seen the ad, clicked the ad, and then chose to uh, submit their information. So as you see, the columns are there, the best time to call, it's listed right there. Their email address, their full name, and obviously their phone number. So these things are set up for you within the CSV file. Now, as they are submitted, you don't get notified when a new form has been submitted. So this can, have its downfall, right? I mean, if somebody said, hey, call me today after six, and you didn't actually go and check the form until 8 p.m., well, then there's obviously going to be a disconnect and you're going to have to play phone tag now. So that's what we're trying to avoid by asking what the best time to contact them is. So a way to have these automated and to send to you automatically and be notified is a little program called Lead Sync dot me it's actually free for one campaign right so you can utilize it and attach it to one email and it is free if you have other people in your office that want to be notified then you will have to go and utilize a paid account and i believe it starts at it's either nine or oh, nineteen dollars a month there we go so they do give you a free trial. I think it's uh, 15, two weeks, 15 days, to one month. I'm not quite sure on the time, but right, like as I mentioned, there's the free basic one. You can go from notifications from one Facebook form and it goes to one email address. So when you set it up this way, maybe like I mentioned, you would want to have somebody in the office that you wanted it to go to your secretary, your assistant, another team member, 
you would be able to add them at that point in time. But it's $19 a month. So what would happen is somebody comes through, sees your ad, submits the form, then now you're going to get an email with the information embedded in the email instead of having to go and recover it within the CSV file. And obviously it's instant. And so that helps if somebody says, hey, contact me as soon as possible. You just got the email. Well, contacting them, I believe they had mentioned within the first 15 minutes, you have a five times higher likely chance to close them on your services, whatever it may be. But um, keep those things in mind. Obviously, timing and reacting to the potential client is a way that can put a competitive advantage over you. If somebody's looking for your service and you don't contact them right away, obviously something sparked their interest. Hopefully we can prevent them from going to somewhere else by reaching out to them as soon as possible and taking care of their needs essentially. So I just wanted to show you how you could manually recoup, excuse me, recoup or recover the data information from the form or in a way to where it was automated with uh, instant no notification. So that'll be it for this video and we will see you in the next one.